Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. If you caught the last video, you know we just got the Easton Made 37D, 37 ton horizontal splitter with the Kubota diesel engine on it. And I mentioned there's one big drawback to a machine like this with a box wedge, and that is the amount of scrap that comes off of the machine. I've got a solution we're gonna try here today, see if we can cut back on that. Let me show you what we've got going on. All right, so my idea, and I don't know if it's gonna work or not, it might take longer, it might be less efficient, but we're gonna take the box wedge out and we're gonna put the six-way wedge in and do what this machine was designed to do, and that is to just chew through the wood and bust up these big rounds. The problem is, Resplitting on this machine is not this machine's strong suit. This machine is most efficient when you can take a log like this, put it up on the log cradles, and just send it through one time. You start to lose efficiency when you start pulling stuff back and running it through again. So we're just gonna run every log through the six-way wedge one time, up the conveyor, and into the dump trailer. Doing it that way should cut down on the amount of scrap that we're left with in the trailer. And then as you can see here, I've got the Easton Mate Axis set up to re-split any of those pieces that are larger than what I typically like. So we're gonna see, it's gonna be a two-step process instead of a one-step process, but I think the six-way wedge and then using the Easton Mate Axis as a re-splitter, which is what this machine shines at, is really gonna cut down on that scrap. Before we can test it out though, we gotta go ahead and swap out the box wedge for the six-way wedge and get some firewood cut. Man oh man, you can cut a lot of wood in a hurry with one guy running the excavator and one guy running a saw. Let's go ahead and fire up the splitter and see if this harebrained idea of splitting the wood with two separate machines is gonna help us cut down on that waste. Today's video is sponsored by Helix. If you're not familiar, Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that is customized to fit your needs and shipped directly to your door. And right now they are running their President's Day sale which gives you 25% off your entire purchase plus a free bedroom bundle. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. That's why they designed the sleep quiz to help you find the perfect mattress for your body type and sleep preferences. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the quiz together and find a mattress that you both will love. Now I'm a side sleeper and I like a firmer mattress. Lana on the other hand is a stomach sleeper and likes a softer mattress. Based on our quiz results, Helix matched us up with their Midnight Luxe mattress, which is right in the middle of the mattress firmness scale. We've had our mattress now for almost two years, and Lana and I both agree it is the perfect compromise for two people who can't decide on a soft or firm mattress. Now, when I was a kid, I could sleep anywhere. 
I could sleep in the back of a car, on an airplane. I probably could have slept on a basketball gym floor if I really had to. I never really paid much attention to the mattress that I was sleeping on, but at the ripe old age of 32, I'm starting to find that that actually matters. We just got back from a seven day cruise and on that cruise, I did not sleep very well. I woke up with a sore back every single morning and I'm starting to find that happening more and more often. When we travel to my in-laws for Christmas or the holidays or anything like that, and I'm sleeping on a mattress other than my Helix mattress, I typically wake up with a sore back and I don't sleep very well. And usually after a couple days away from home, I'm just thinking I can't wait to get back home and sleep in my own bed. I know some people aren't gonna be comfortable buying a mattress off the internet. They wanna go to the store and lay on them and try them out before they take one home. But Lana and I put our faith in the sleep quiz and they absolutely nailed it and saved us a ton of time going from store to store to store to try to find the perfect mattress. Helix mattresses are fiberglass free and delivered right to your door. They're vacuum sealed and packaged nice and tight in a box. And they're very easy to get upstairs around corners and through doorways and set up is super simple by yourself. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, there's a 10 year warranty, and there's flexible payment plans and financing options available. If you're in the market for a new mattress, check out the link in the description or go to helixsleep.com to take advantage of their President's Day sale where you'll get 25% off your entire purchase plus a free bedroom bundle.
All right, guys, so we are off to a great start in terms of reducing the amount of scrap. The material that's under the splitter is a lot less than it was when we were running the box wedge, and we actually made more firewood than we did in the last video. So now the telling sign will be, once we get all this re-split with the axis and stacked into the uh, IBC tote here, how much scrap are we left with in the dump trailer? And you can see the stuff that comes off of there. Some of this, I may not even re-split. Like that's a, that's a good wood stove size, maybe a bit big for campfires and fireplaces. Uh, and then you got some bigger stuff in here that's definitely gonna need re-split. Like, you know, that hunk there, probably cut that in half, maybe split that one twice. And there's some even bigger hunks in there. One problem we did come across, you know, we're reducing scrap uh, by splitting everything just one time, but those bigger hunks don't like to go up the conveyor as well as the smaller chunks. We had kind of a build up here, and then once you just keep pushing it through, eventually it will work up the conveyor, but occasionally you'll have some pieces they'll spill out over the sides, just because those bigger hunks don't, doesn't grab the chain quite as well. So we'll have to figure out something to do with that, but uh, really it's not that big of a deal. Probably 10 pieces I had to pick up from the sides and throw back on the conveyor to get it to go up. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire up the axis here and start resplitting. All right, guys, so we just finished splitting that dump trailer load of wood. We got two baskets out of there, which would be two thirds of a cord. So twice the amount of wood that we split with the box wedge. And if we come over here and look, I knew it was gonna be better. I had no idea it was gonna be this much better. That is all the more scrap that we got from 
running it through the six-way wedge on the 37D. And then if you look, the estimate axis creates virtually no scrap at all, especially when you're just resplitting. So this is all the more scrap that was created on the axis from resplitting two thirds of a cord and a couple of bundles. As you guys saw in the video, some of the stuff that came off here didn't need resplit at all. I would say the breakdown was probably 25%. I was able to just stack immediately from the six-way wedge and then 75% needed resplit. And of that 75% that needed resplit, probably 90% of those only needed resplit one time, and then probably 10% needed crack two or three times that, you know, we had some bigger chunks come off of the six way wedge. Now, the whole point of today's video was to reduce waste and maximize the yield of firewood that we get out of the logs that we have here. Is this the most efficient setup from a time saving standpoint? Probably not, but I bet you it's not as far off as you might think. Yes, we're handling the wood twice. We're splitting it once with the 37D, which honestly took 10, 15 minutes to split two thirds of a cord. And then to re-split with the axis probably took, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. But I know from past experience, it takes me about 15 minutes to stack a third of a cord basket out of the back of the dump trailer. So I would have had a half an hour stacking firewood anyway. And so if it took me an hour to re-split and stack, the incremental time re-splitting was only about 30 minutes worth of time. And I've got significantly less waste and more firewood out of those poles. Now it's not entirely lost on me that either one of these machines could have accomplished the task of splitting those two baskets. But what I wanted to try was to take advantage of the strengths of both of these machines and offset the weaknesses with the other one. So obviously the 37D, its strengths are its speed and power to bust up the big rounds. And then the Estimate Axis, its strength is the precision and lack of waste that it creates. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would rather do. Would you rather have more scrap in your wood and run the box wedge, have a lot less labor, a little bit of time savings, or do it this way and maximize your yield out of the woods and have less scrap? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.